the Kingston Library offers a dedicated space for local artists to showcase their work. PCN met up with January's contributor to learn about him and his passion for his work. I've always made my living in art. Uh, not fine art so much, but I've always been in the business of art. And uh, I got actually started painting again, oh, back in the 90s, uh, early 90s, when um, it was decided by my wife that I would start to paint again. Um, she bought me a Christmas gift, which was eight lessons with a fellow by the name of John Boynton, who was at the time uh, a local Plymouth resident, and he's a phenomenal artist, was a wonderful artist. I got reacquainted with watercolor uh, at the time, and it wasn't too much longer than a few weeks back into it when I started to get uh, started to paint on a regular basis again. The Kingston Library called me last month and asked if I would be willing to do a show for them for the month of January, and I've agreed to do that. It's part of a group of showings. I maintain a steady group of paintings that are over in Area 58 over in Carver. So uh, they've got a group of paintings hanging over there f that I have, and I've got a group of paintings that are hanging, probably about 10 paintings that are over in Lou's Tavern in down downtown Plymouth that are hanging there as well. Um, and this particular show here was like, as I said, they just asked me to put something together for them for the month of January. The pieces that I have here range, some of them go back to the, maybe some of them go back to the 90s. And, and uh, some of the new stuff, uh, the latest stuff, the little figure works that I'm doing are uh, current. But uh, it's, a, it's an eclectic uh, group of paintings. Um, I have a couple of very interesting pieces that are there. I participate pretty regularly in most of the, uh, most of the shows that are around Plymouth Guild for the Arts, Duxbury Art Association, New England Watercolor Society. Uh, I do what I can to, you know, to participate in those in the watercolor areas anyway. Uh, but as I said, it's a, it, it's a range of all kinds of, all kinds of paintings. Um, now, what I'll do is I'll paint what I see, but I'll put my twist on it. I work from, uh, I'll work from nature, I'll paint outside. Uh, I'll work from photographs in the studio. Uh, but I've got to see it. And then what I'll do is interpret what I see. Uh, I'm not a kind of a, I'm not a, the kind of a painter that is uh, that just paints out of his head. Um, I happen to be passionate about the art world and, and painting in general. Um, I've been painting, or I've been in the business of art all my life. I've I've done a number of uh, annual report covers and so forth and so on, illustrative type things. I'll do whatever I can if it's, I just happen to like working in art. Uh, I've basically been doing layout. I've been in the commercial end of the business for years and years and years. And uh, uh, I've always been involved in design. Uh, I approach painting from a design perspective. And uh, that's uh, very critical from my perspective. And when I paint, I try to paint uh, uh, pieces that uh, will come alive to my audience. Uh, and, and the way I do that is by using uh, a variation of uh, movements in terms of warm to cool and light to dark in paintings and uh, value paintings that are uh, uh, have a uh, well balanced and so forth, so that you get uh, they get interesting dynamics when they go when you when you take a look at a piece, uh, and I and I think that's extremely important because I think it's very important to hold your audience as a painter. Uh, I want to make sure that I've got the attention of the audience when they look at it and that the audience gets something out of the piece that I'm painting, uh, that I've painted. So it's, uh, it's, from that perspective, it's, it's very important to do.